So SWC season is finally over, thank goodness. I think the most entertaining part about that entire season is if you take a look at the SWC final results notice page and you see all these people holding up the big checks with lots of money, nobody's smiling. Everyone just looks very unhappy because why would they be smiling? They just played Summoner's War RTA. Anyway, we do also have Summoner's War 814 update notice. This is big dev note. There's lots of words. We took notes. We highlighted things. So we're going to go through this fairly quickly, as quickly as we go on this channel. So it's going to be an hour and a half. I know. I hate it too. I hate myself every single day. Summoner's War 814 update. The big things are we get more, um, we get more energy, we get an increased player level, we get increased drops from Kairos Dungeons and the other dungeons, and we also get 30 time repeat battle. They are making some changes to it as well since it is a 30 time repeat battle. Uh, so greetings from Comp to us, etc, etc. Oh, less one, by the way. I didn't watch any of it because I, I, I don't care, but I'm glad that less one because I feel like he should have gone farther. Uh, was it last year or the year before? So I'm actually excited to see him win, even though there's a couple people that I kind of wanted to see win, so I, I'm partial, but I'm also, whatever. Anyway, I'm, I'm just excited that he won. Uh, we have max level expansion, max summoner level. We're going to read all of this, and then we're going to skim a lot of the rest of this stuff. Uh, max summoner, because this is the TLDR. Max summoner level will be expanded from 50 to 100. With this change, it's going to take months to actually get there, by the way. With this change, the max energy storage will be increased. The previous glory buildings and guild flag buff effect features can now be acquired as unique summoner skills granted upon leveling up without purchasing the building. I don't know why they need to change these things. I feel like sometimes... A few new players complain, and then Comp is like, all of the new players are freaking out because it takes a long time to do things like, yeah, it's a mobile gacha game that's been around for nine years. Like, you can't please everyone. In a game like this, there is no way to please everyone. So, uh, I mean, they, they make changes that they think are the best or most profitable or will continue Summoner's War until the next thing that they want to uh, release to make money. So, they have their strategy for doing things. Kairos Dungeon, Rune Drop, great. Uh, rune drop rate greatly increased. The drop rate of runes in Giants Keep, Dragons, uh, Dragons Lair, Necropolis, etc., etc., uh, will be greatly increased. Rift of Worlds. Rift. I don't know why we even bother reading that second part. That's very self-explanatory. Uh, Rift of Worlds Rift Raid and Rift Dungeon Reward Structure Improvement. Beast Claw and Beast Horns are now dropping in Rift Dungeons as well. You can craft both Enchanted Gems and Grindstones with Beast Claws and Beast Horns, where they were only Grindstones before. Rewards drop. By the way, if you're not trying to craft these things, they're actually really nice to get the uh, Violent Grinds and now Violent uh, Gems as well. I don't use them for anything else. I just use them for Violent. I'm, maybe someone else uses them for something that's not Violent, but... Violet is 50% of the game. The rewards dropped from Rift of the Worlds will be improved. We'll see how much they actually improve from both of these. Uh, and then, you guys can't even see? Yeah. Oh, now you can see the cursor. Um, but yeah, we'll see how much they actually do improve. Because they, they're they thinking about improving at a certain number. But who knows what the actual number is going to be when they, when they release this update. Max repeat battle count increased to 30 times. This is a pre pretty big one. With the increased max battle count, the selected... Uh, Select selected feature for selling <laughs> I didn't notice that before. For selling runes, artifacts, grindstones, and chant gems will be uh, advanced to allow you to sell them more easily. Maybe we don't need everything more advanced. That's just my uh, critiques on this. So summoners level revamp to uh, 100 from 50. Right? So Compulus, Comp to us speculates it will take 120 days. They kind of uh, reference that a little bit here. Uh, 10 plus days at the fastest to go from... 40 to 50 and then they said uh 40 days to reach level 50 for new summoners so they kind of speculate they said twice as much so they kind of speculate that it's going to take 120 days from level 1 to 100 um which is going to be nice to differentiate who's actually playing so if someone is in two months level 50 we know that they're not playing all day every day right i'm gonna still be at level 50 in two months oh no oh no um wait playing all day every day it's just software that plays for all these uh these high level competitive players they just have software they just have scripts running that automate everything for them so they're going to be playing 24 7 playing the software is going to be playing for them 24 7 they're going to be leveling up super fast but this has been going on for years at this point now people made a big deal about comp uh about thompson doing it and there are 
with all of these different software programs where you can play Summoner's War, like especially Facebook integration, Comptoise just promotes it now. Uh, you can just write scripts and then you can play the game through your computer and software plays the game for you. If you are not aware that that is going on, that is all the high level players are just playing that way. That's how they're farming. They're not actually playing. They hop on for like guild content and like RTA and things like that. But in, in terms of farming, they just have the software farming for them. Uh, and then we have some people are just mind blown right now. Like what people are at play, <laughs> but this has been going on for years. Just in case you guys are not aware that this has been going on. Um, energy max storage, which is now, uh, it's 140. And then after the building plus 20, statue plus 40, daily pack plus 10, you have 210 right now. After the level 100 upgrade, you will have 310 energy. Uh, and then they're adding skill points to, uh, to get each time you level up your level. And then you can use the skill points for upgrading towers and things like that. Uh, what are skill points? Five points are provided per level up from summoner level 21 to level 100. One summoner skill can be upgraded with one points. Uh, also, you can trade these for, not trade these. Um, if you already have everything, you get mystical scrolls instead. Uh, one mystical scroll per point. I think it uh, mentions that later. Uh, the upgraded, well, of course it mentions that. How else would I know it? The upgraded skill points can be reset with 300 crystals or one time free for all accounts. Uh, buff effect for the 16 glare buildings and four guild flags of the arena will be removed. Uh, via the 814 update, the removed effects will be changed to unique summoner skills that can be upgraded via leveling up. And you can kind of see this. I mean, for the most part, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, and then we have, I think, since we didn't do notes on this, you guys could just take a look. But I apparently didn't feel it was necessary enough to do notes. This is just talking about all of those changes and all of those upgrades. Uh, the bi Oh, yeah, the big TLDR. It <laughs> Why did all of this need to be changed? Why did all of this need to be changed? Um, I don't know. We're almost 10 years into the game. They're trying to keep things fresh, but this is a lot of... I feel that this is a lot of unnecessary work, unnecessary coding for what is the real value. I don't, oh, I did highlight this. Five skill points are provided per level. Five mystical scrolls will be given per level up when you reach the max skill level. So I did want to mention that. Um, if you guys want to take a look at all the tables for all of this. But yeah, I, I don't know that this is... I don't know what the, the idea behind this is. How does this make them more money? It doesn't. How does this bring in new players? It doesn't. Do existing players get more enjoyment out of this? They have to kind of get acclimated to the new way that it works. But I don't think this, not, this doesn't make it better. This just makes it different. So there's a lot of work to make it different. Because this, this was a decent amount of work to do this. They could have done... For me... Anytime I look at something like running in from a management perspective, if I have to look at something that's going to cost a lot of money and time, it needs to be worth it for the end user or worth it for profitability. And I just don't, I don't understand. I don't see it. I don't see it, but comp to us sees something in it. So they decided to do this. Um, then we also have Kairos Dungeon and Rift of World rewards improvements. Drop rate of runes in all floors, B1 through B10, including Abyssal Floor at the Giant's Keep, Dragon's Lair, etc., etc., uh, will be greatly increased. So they said currently they're finally finalizing the balance of the rune drop rate. As for the drop rate in Abyssal Floor Hard, we're considering increasing the drop rate for 6 star Legend Rune by 2.4 times than now. But considering that. That gets people's hopes up thinking, oh, wow, it's going to be 2.4 times. And then like the update comes and it's like, it's not even close to that. So we don't know what it's actually going to be. We'll wait till the update. I've learned so much from Summoner's War the past, uh, the past nine years is don't get your hopes up because they'll get crushed. 9.9 .9 times out of 10 is that you will get your, uh, you will get your hopes crushed. Um, yeah, drop rate increased. We also have Beast Claw and Beast Horn usage improvements. So they're expanding the usage of Beast Claws and Beast Horns by allowing them to be dropped in Rift Dungeon and also used for crafting enchant gems. I could have highlighted this as well. Uh, this way you can freely craft and use ground. But I feel like we already get a decent amount. Like if you want violent uh, enchant gems, you can just go and farm the Dark Beast and you're getting... For me, I'm just... I do that 
several times a week for hours. I'm just like, I'm gonna farm uh, the Dark Beast, and then I get my Violent Gems, and it's been easier than ever. That was a huge change, that was a huge improvement for me, is now I have Violent Gems when I need them. I don't have to be like, well, I guess I'll get these in six months. They're there. So, for me, I, I don't have the same issue with that. I, I, I've I been really enjoying the Beast Horns and Beast Claws to get the Violent Grinds. And now I can kind of target between using Beast Horns and Claws to get the Grinds and farming the Dark Beast to get the Gems. I actually have access to a whole lot of uh, Violent Resources for all the Violent Runes that they haven't been giving me over the years. Now, there are a lot of Violent Runes that, that still... Uh, don't have efficient grinds and gems, so now there's been improvements being made. Uh, drop rate of grindstones and chain gems in Rift Raid and Rift Dungeons improved. Rather than mana stones- Oh, this is actually a big one. Rather than mana stones that were dropped as a battle reward with certain chance taking a reward slot, mana stones will now be dropped all the time like the other dungeons. The drop rate of high grade grindstones will be increased by the removed drop rate of mana stones. Thank you for finally, after years of complaining by so many people, Removing mana as a drop. Why it takes so long to do this? They're like, well, we're going to do this after people leave. You could have done it before people left. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, I'm glad they finally did it. At, at the very least. And we have mana stone acquisition amount upon selling grindstones increase. I don't really care about that personally. Max repeat battle. Some people care. Early game players that don't have any mana. I suppose uh, that just means farm more. That's if you don't have mana, just farm more and stop up, uh, stop upgrading crappy runes. That's the solution to that. It's a very easy solution. That's why most players don't have that uh, problem: is they don't upgrade crap. They just farm. They don't upgrade crap. Um, max repeat battle count increased to thirty times, which is actually pretty huge. Not only this, and some of you casual players are gonna like this. Uh, you can fail now. You can fail some of these runs. If you keep failing, if you fail, um, you can fail twice, and it'll continue. If you fail three times, it will stop the stop the battle. So, I think that's a, I think that's a big win for a lot of players, especially players that are like, I'm gonna do this dungeon team, but it's kind of not super consistent. And oh, I failed the first. Like, what if you fail the first run, and like the rest of the runs would have been like would have been decent. But you fail the first one, so it stops, and you, the phone is in your pocket because you're like at work or something. You're like, oh well, I guess I did. I, it's been here for like 20 minutes. I got nothing because I failed the first run. It's just been sitting there at the screen for 20 minutes. Um, yeah, so uh, you can fail. I think it says here. Uh, yeah, we decided to reduce the incidences of repeat battle ending doing, due to a losing battle, allowing you to play the next battle, even though you lose a battle up to two times. However, the repeat battle will, uh, will end if you lose three times. There's also changes to the uh, the improved cell selected feature will allow you to set the rune set without whether the rune has prefix properties or not, types of sub properties, and the range of values. So this is just fixing the like the, the screen after you get all the loot and you're deciding what to sell and what not to sell. There's more robust features here. So I, I think that they're, this, I don't know. Like this is, this is nice improvements if people want, but a lot of people don't even use some of these improvements that take time and effort to, to do. I feel like the biggest improvements would be make people have more fun playing the game. If more players are having more fun and less stressed playing the game, then less people will leave. Less pressure, less stress, less things to learn, less things to read, more fun. Players should be having more fun playing Summoner's War. There's a lot of people that used to have fun playing Summoner's War, and now they're just overwhelmed. I think Comptos needs to tone down the more, 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 and words, and learning new things, and, 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 and that's just my thoughts, and it, I wish they would have made it more accessible. It's kind of too late for that now anyway, because people already left and they're not coming back. But it would have been nice for them to not close off so many casual players. That's just my opinion. And 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 have people have more fun playing the game. Uh, check the table below for the update. Oh, this is the Abyssal Floor changes. Uh, the schedule changes. We're not only increasing the drop rate, we're also thinking of ways to make the Abyssal Floor of Steel Fortress and Punisher Script at a valuable uh, a valuable farming source. So we'll we'll see what they actually mean by that. But yeah, anyway, this is the super long TLDR. I, I don't understand the point of why I do TLDRs and then add all this extra talking, which just makes it 
even longer. So anyway, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I always do it. Probably always will. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helped maybe understand some things in this update. I know we just glanced over some things. I just, I wanted to talk about the important, the important parts, I feel. So, and then uh, kind of glance over, because this would have been a two hour long video if I talked about every single thing. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always. <laughs> why, don't I, why do I not know how to say my outro? I will see you as always in the next video.